Good morning, guys. Or shall I say good super morning because it is actually 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. I have been up since 3. I know, gross. But 5.23 and I am headed to Rumble. I'm headed to Rumble to work out. I think I'm gonna do two back-to-back -back classes because hey, we have the time. Alrighty, I just parked and made it to Rumble. It is so early, guys. It is 6 a.m. And I'm probably gonna double up the workout, so I'm gonna do two classes instead of one. Since I am already over here. All right, got my wraps. I got, why do I have three of these? Two lefties. Gloves. What else do I need? I need a mask. I don't know why I really was about to go up in there with no mask on, like that's a thing we can do. All right, we ready. <sighs> Everybody's already in class. Okay, so I just got out of Rumble and I did back-to-back -back classes because you know your girl's a savage. Um, by the way, if you haven't yet, I think that we should take our relationship to the next level and you should subscribe to my channel because you know, I feel like it's a little one-sided here. I'm opening up a lot here and I just like, I need the commitment. I'm not giving you an ultimatum. I just want a little tiny bit of commitment. So hit that subscribe button. It's funny because I always see people whenever I'm going into a workout class, I always have an early afternoon class or a late morning class. And when I see those poor unfortunate souls leaving the super early classes, like the 6 a.m. or the 7 a.m. class, I'm always like, oh man, that sucks. Like they have to go to work early or wow, that person's a sucker because they got up early but I don't know now I'm one of them and I feel pretty accomplished that I've gotten so much done already for the day and then also I have so many other possibilities for the rest of the day so I am going to head to the mall if it's open by the time I get down back my way hopefully it'll be open by the time I get back home I'm gonna go to the mall to get this lash serum I've been hearing about grande lash so I'm gonna try that because I'm ready for these little wisps to to you know to thrive. Just want my little babies to grow. So we're gonna try the Grande Lash. I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm gonna start the Grande Lash today if I can get it in the store. And I know that you have to use it for three months or something like that. If one day you're just like, hey girl, those lashes are popping. Are you wearing extensions? My goal is to not wear any lash extensions for at least the next three months. So we'll see, cause you know, they are a little addicting. They're addictive for me. So far I'm going strong though, so yeah, I'm gonna get this lash serum, have my little babies grow on me, and uh, we'll see what the rest of the day has for us. Off to the mall. Meet me in the mall. It's going down. Actually, it's going up, cause these lashes about to grow. Mm. I feel like I lost my debit card somewhere. I definitely used it on Sunday and then I haven't seen it since. And I feel like I just didn't put it back in my purse or something stupid like that. <sighs> Serves me right. But I should really find that. S Snap! It told me to drive safely. I think the guy who was pulling into the garage just now used a key card, but he was coming in the opposite side. But for some reason it made my gate open and it said drive safely. Santos something and I was like oh thanks Santos for doing that for me <laughs> So I just got back home. Like I suspected, the mall was closed, so instead I went to Vons, which is the grocery store that was on the way. And look what I found. Fat boy 
peppermint, like peppermint sundae on a stick. Yum! I've been wanting a new mint ice cream, so that is gonna be awesome, I'm sure. But my freezer is so full. I really gotta think this through. Like, I do this thing where I buy so much ice cream because I love it, obviously. But then I literally, we have two refrigerators which means we have two freezers and it is such a challenge squeezing everything in here um mostly my fault because i do buy so much ice cream but i also got some frozen berries i'm about to make breakfast right now i was gonna make an acai bowl but i need a little more protein and it's kind of hard for me to eat throughout the day so i'm just gonna make like a steak and some eggs right now and then probably head over to the mall later today and then maybe do a little beach day before i get to work okay guys tell me your thoughts on this so my last microphone broke and so i reached out to blue microphones because that is the company i love that mic and first of all it was covered under warranty and this was the easiest replacement process I've ever gone through with anything. They sent me the replacement microphone. It said that FedEx delivered the package, but it wasn't delivered here to this apartment because for some reason when delivery drivers come, they don't come all the way down this little driveway area. So they don't really know that there's other apartments here and they go to the one next door instead. So I just say, you know, what the heck, let me just go over to my neighbor's house because anytime their packages come here, I just walk it over and I bring it to them. So I go over there and I wait at the door. The guy finally answers and he goes, are you Ashley? And I go, yeah, did you by chance get my package? And he walks me over to where the package is and he hands me the box, which was fine, except for the fact that he opened the package. So, I mean, I feel like generally when people see a package, they look at who it's to and who it's from at least to know like what it could be or have some kind of inclination or hint. But this guy straight up just opened my box and I'm sure he saw that the name said Ashley on it. But what if I had ordered something else, you know, that wasn't a microphone, something very personal or, I don't know, it could have been a bag of vibrators or something for all he knew, but he just took the liberty to open the box. And you know, when I came up to him, he's like, I'm sorry, I meant to bring the package over, but you know, I have kids and stuff, so I didn't make it over there. But I just, I don't know, I just, when I grabbed the box, I was thankful that he gave it to me, but I was also kind of off put by the fact that he opened it. I don't know, it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. What do you guys think? Is that something that you do if you get somebody's package by mistake that's clearly addressed to your neighbor? Do you open the box? I don't know, I just felt like that was a little strange. Especially because every time I've brought a package over to his house, I've never once opened the box to see what was inside of it. I just look at the package first to see who it's for, and then I walk it over there. But I'm thankful I got the microphone anyway. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was kind of weird and I wanted a little feedback or input on what you would do in that situation. Because I kind of wanted to call him out about it. like. I straight up wanted to ask him why he opened the box, but I didn't. I just took it and I said thank you. Weird, right? I know. So this is my breakfast for today. Got about 12 ounces of New York strip steak, a slice of tomato, and four scrambled egg whites. I don't really like the yolks anyway, but if I do need a little more fat, I will sometimes crack a yolk into three other egg whites. But yeah, this is my breakfast. The first meal that I eat is the largest meal of the day for me. so. That's why I had to go hard like this. So yeah, I am just gonna sit down and eat. I think I might sit outside actually. And I will catch you guys later. See ya. Okay, so I actually took a nap around noon and I just got up again and took a shower. So we are here now. We are in this present moment. And um, we are up. I'm gonna head to the mall now to pick up some of the Grande Lash Serum. I'm gonna pick up two, one for me and then I'm gonna have one shipped to my best friend, Shelby. Hey, Shelby. But this is what I have on. Just this T-shirt. And then I have these brown slides. It's still very warm here in Southern California, so I have the pleasure of wearing shorts. Okay, so you girl just got to the mall. Um, I'm gonna go into Sephora. Hopefully they have the lash stuff in 
stock. When I looked online, it said it was, but sometimes they like to play. This mall is literally like five minutes from my house, but I have only been here one other time. And it's a really nice mall. I just feel like people just don't be going to the mall like that. Especially if you can get everything online within a day. But I'm trying to start seeing this lash growth today. Ben's ordering sugar fish, so we're gonna have that for dinner. But I might stop at the grocery store anyway just to get some vegetables to eat later after that because it's sushi and I'll probably be hungry within a couple hours of eating it. She has been using Grande and look at these lashes. Oh my God. Okay, I'm excited now. It took me about three and a half weeks to actually see the growth. Okay. So it doesn't happen overnight. If you use it every night, do not skip a night. Okay guys, I'm so excited because I just got this set. It's like a little holiday set. It's $68, but it has the Grande Lash Enhancing Serum. It has a four weeks mini supply as well as a three month supply. And then there's a brow serum in there as well. Like I don't really need it for my brows, but Shelby I know will appreciate that because I don't know, I feel like it's cute. It's a cute little set. So instead of just sending her one little tube of it, I'm sending her an entire little gift set. Um, hi. Okay, sorry. Your lashes are cute. Thank you. And so are your nails. Like you you got it going on, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Did you have an account with us? Yeah. Um, is it possible for me to order another one of those but have it shipped to somebody if I buy it here? The last stuff shipped. Bye guys, have a good one. So, everything shipped out and oh my gosh, so I'm kind of geeking out right now. And <laughs> thank you, you too. So when I was in there, these three adorable girls they had to be in like high school or something. They were kind of like, I thought they were waiting for the salesperson because they were like whispering and muttering sort of behind me. And then I would move out of their way, but they would kind of follow me. And finally I just like turned around because they were like nervously waiting to get my attention. When I finally turned to them, they just stopped me and asked me um, <laughs> if I was vlogging and asked me what my channel information was. And they were kind of like excited about it. So I guess that was kind of my first experience running into, I don't know, people on the street. But honestly, I'm sure that's more of a curiosity thing, but it was very flattering that they asked me what my channel name was and looked it up and stuff. So if you guys did happen to find my channel and you're watching, hi ladies, I hope you're doing well. And I think that you guys should start vlogging too because it's very, very fun, like I said in the store. All right, so I am headed home now. And actually, I do have to stop at TJ, so that's what I'm going to do. Trader Joe's, for those who don't know what TJ is, it's Trader Joe's. I think Ben should be back with our sushi by the time that I get home, too. So I'm going to be having dinner kind of soon, considering the big breakfast that I had. It's 4.38 right now. I am not hungry at all. It's sushi, so I know it's going to be light. And we are back home. Ooh, it's dark in here. Okay, so I'm back home now. I think I'm gonna record some stuff vocally. Wait for Ben to get home with the food, and that's really it for the day. But I'm just gonna kind of get settled in since I just got home. And that's really it. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.